Okay, so as part of your file management lesson, you need to understand about folder structure. Folder structure and hierarchy is so important so that you can find your documents and so that they can be organized. Right now, I'm showing you the folder structure and the hierarchy of my OneDrive. So you can see that I've got several folders here and I have some separate documents that are outside of a folder. I have a folder for my teaching and if I double click on that, we can go in and we can see that I have a folder for each of my classes and I have information in each of these folders about each of my classes. We can also see that if I click onto Year 10 ICT, I've also got information here organised. So all the assessments that I have for you are in here. So the October theory assessment that you just did recently. And we've got things like lesson PowerPoints, past papers and mark schemes and any planning resources. It's really important and it makes it easy for me to find where information is by organising my documents into folders. The second most important thing is to think about file names. Typically, when you download documents off the internet, they usually have good file names. But if they don't, you need to be able to rename them or when you're saving documents for the first time, save them with a meaningful name. There's no point in calling a document, document one, it doesn't give you any information about what's in that document. So if we double click on my lesson PowerPoints, we can see that this PowerPoint here is called input devices. So it lets me know that this is the PowerPoint that has information from the input devices lesson. The next one is called printers and the one after that is called ROM and RAM. So that gives me an awareness of what information is stored in this document. You also notice that it tells me the file type. So it is a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation file. Now I'm going to double click and open up this input devices document. And we're going to look at how we would be able to save this PowerPoint document into a different file format. Earlier on in today's lesson, you would have looked at file formats. So you should have some awareness and some familiarity with different file types. So if I wanted to change the file format of this PowerPoint document, I can go to File and I can go to Save a Copy. So if I click Save a Copy, it will ask me where I want to save this. I want to save it in the existing folder that I have, but if I didn't want to, I can always go and have a look at the different locations I've got on my PC or on my OneDrive, or I could browse other locations on my computer. Now, I'm not going to ch change the file name because I'm more than happy with the name of the document. Input devices is an accurate description of what is included in this document. If I click below, this gives me a list of different file formats that this PowerPoint presentation document can be saved as. It can be saved as a PDF, which means I can open on any web browser. I can save it as a video file format. So if when you're working on a PowerPoint presentation, you add loads of animations and transitions, you can turn it into a video, I could turn it into a GIF, I could turn it into a um, image format either being .gpg for JPEG or .png. I'm going to save it as a PDF. And I'm saving it in that same location. So you can see up here, it's in the same location, but there are no PDFs stored in that location, which is why they can't show me anything. So I'm going to click Save. And it will do the magic of saving it into a PDF file format. And it's now saved as a, a PDF. The one that's open right now is not a PDF. If I go back into my folder here, we can see that it's a PDF. And we can also see, if we link back to talking about compression, it significantly re reduced the file size. So it was originally 5,099 kilobytes. By saving it as a PDF, it's reduced it to a almost just under a fifth of the size, so to 984 kilobytes. And if I double click, it will open up the PowerPoint presentation in the web browser, which is what we do with PDFs. That's really important. I'm now gonna hand over back to 
your teacher and you are going to start working on a demonstrate activity showcasing some of the skills and knowledge you have acquired in today's lesson.